Hey guys, it's the SFN Double and Wonder for part 52 of Let's Play Far Cry 5 Blind. Last time, we got to Jacob's region pretty much for the first time officially. This time, we're going to start off by approaching this wolf beacon here. And Boomer might try something, unfortunately. Which I don't want him to. I want to try to perform a chain takedown. Got it. Haven't done a chain takedown, really. And Boomer killed something. Awesome. I also switched over to Flamethrower, dude. Uh, we definitely want to get a little ways away from that before I shoot at it. That is our second wolf beacon. I think there's only like 10 of them here. And it looks like there's another enemy right here. Oh, man, he is actually quite well hidden. Oh, hello, wolfies. Uh, I did not expect to see you there. I will take the animal skin, though, and I will take any ammo and stuff off of them. Man, there's so many, like, wolves and stuff out here. Okay, I'm not going to bother with them. We're just going to go this way. So there should be two collectibles in this general area, as well as a couple of missions. So that'll be a good thing to do for this video. Man, another snake. These snakes are everywhere up here. Just more annoying than anything, because if they manage to bite you, they uh, make you, like, hallucinate and stuff. Sounds like there's still enemies back there. Ah, uh, you guys should be safe now. Just come on and join me as soon as you get the chance. Oh, crap, a skunk. Oh, God, they can actually skunk you? Oh, man, that, that sucks, dude. That absolutely sucks. That's got to be the worst thing, because... I don't know if you guys have ever been skunked. I have not, but I do have, like, one of my dogs once got skunked, and it was awful. Like, he barely even got skunked at all, but you could smell it for, like, a couple weeks at least afterward. Oh, it's awful, man. It is awful. All right, so what do we have in this area? It looks like a couple enemies on the approach over there somewhere. Uh, the prepper stash, and we've got a couple of collectibles here. I'll go ahead and activate the prepper stash at least. Hey, you there? First, ah, uh, read that. Don't care. Hmm, this house seems to be in pretty bad shape. Wonder how we're gonna get in there. There uh, another entrance somewhere probably. Ah, uh, flamethrower, you need to get out of the way. You are blocking the way out. Can I go in through a window? Uh, I don't think so. Not there. Oh, there we go. There's a door. That I can't go through. Uh, what about over here? No, doesn't look like anything right here either. Hmm. Can we go underground here? We can. Well, that's something. I don't think it's exactly what we're here for, but it's definitely something. Of course a key is needed, as always. And that's where one of the collectibles is. Uh, you gotta love when you need a key to unlock everything. I mean, I know people are just being safe because safety and locking your doors is smart, but still. Uh, we got body armor in here. We got a cultist. There is our comic book. Uh, there's something right there, maybe. Uh, can I? Is there anything to loot on this guy? Nope. Looking for that key. Got a bathroom. And a broken home. Uh, so we got that, but... What else is there to do here? Because it doesn't look like we can go anywhere else out of here. Yeah, I can't, like, shoot down the door. Any oh, wait, I can go through here. Yep. Yep, I can do that. Doing a little bit of platforming, then. Uh, has this guy got anything on his body? We got some ammo, at least, but that's about it. Uh, I guess that is how we get back here, and is that... Okay, that's a phone, way. and... There it is. Get that ammo right there, and... Yeah, that's about it for now. Okay, let's go check out the bunker here and get the collectible. I think it's a lighter this time. Whoa, enemies. Yeah, cover my ass while I meander. 
Oh, I should be able to get an easy chain tank down here. Why did it not? It didn't do the sidearm takedown. Why? That was weird. Well, we got more of them coming in over here, so maybe I can get it to work over here. I don't know. Just trying to work on those challenges. If it all if it comes down to it, I guess I could always just go do it at the uh, like once I reset the outposts eventually. We're going to throw another rock to get them even more out of the way. And then we should be able to pull off a chain takedown. Yeah, I guess, I guess I must have to have a sidearm to do a sidearm takedown. I didn't think of that, but usually it would be that you just pick it up off of the enemy that you're killing. So maybe you need to actually have a sidearm to do it in this game. Because, I mean, obviously the M79 or whatever it's called probably isn't going to count for that because it's going to be so dangerous and collateral damage-y. Like Unlock. Alright, guys, another mission and prepper stash completed. And there's a lighter down here. And we got perk magazines. All the good stuff is down here. So that's 9 out of the 12 lighters and I think 10 out of the 12 of the other collectible type, which is really, really good. Anything else down here of interest? A safe or anything down here? No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. But that's okay. All right, that wasn't too hard. Next up, we've got a mission right over here. Hopefully soon we can work on the story here or find uh, what's-his-face uh, Herc so we can work on a trophy with him. Oh, grizzly bear. That's uncommon. I didn't know we were in like a grizzly bear hunting area. That's great because they're worth quite a bit more because they're fairly rare. They're the ones that gave me a lot of trouble trying to find them earlier on and I did it off screen because I didn't think you guys would want to watch me wander around the woods for half an hour with no luck. Because I mean, it took me about half an hour to find them or to find two of them. Okay, we've got a little outpost. Or Okay, I hope that was supposed to happen. The Grill Streak. This guy's voice. I can't understand what you are saying, sir. Okay, that was very weird sounding because I couldn't understand a word that came out of his mouth. So we have to collect meat from Antlered Roadkill's final crate. Hmm, that's new. Some new kind of collectible. Okay, that's kind of cool. So one new collectible found. Ah, uh, where is... Where did it say this mission for me to do this at? Ah, uh, just collect... Oh, we have to get... Why road kills, though? That seems really kind of odd. It looks like there's a van or something right over here that I can use, so I'll just have to take that for now. At least I thought I saw one in the area. Maybe not. Where was that? It's up here. Oh, well, there's a civilian, but I'm not going to steal their car because I'm a good person. Ah, right up here, there's a truck. Ah, uh, we should be able to sneak right up to these people. That should get them occupied. A random note. Gonna track them further away this time. Probably 
only just field mice. And another chain takedown. Excellent. Alright, now we should be safe to go ahead and get in the car here. Okay, where on the map does it want me to go exactly? Oh man, we're about to actually re-enter into the other region. It's just get any four, so that's good. I think we only, we'll technically only need maybe two, because I've got that double skin thing. Unless it doesn't translate to this as well, which it may not. It's like someone down below, but I think we're handling everything just fine. Even though I suck at driving when I'm looking out the other window. Uh, I'm gonna run you over because you have no right to live because you are crazy and evil. So we just gotta run over any deer that we come across. Oh! Well, I should have expected that. I'm very sorry about that, man. I was not trying to kill you. Oh, where are the deer? Uh, Boomer, are you gonna spot any for me? Oh, he's okay. Well, at least he's okay. And so is his dog. Sorry, dude, I did not mean to do that. Where are the deer? I wonder if I'm just gonna have to, like, do this more quietly, unfortunately. Well, Boomer marked something there, I think. Uh, what might he have marked there? Just an enemy? Oh, there's one. Right there. I got it. Maybe. Got it. But why roadkill again? Like, wait, did it survive that? Oh, crap, it survived that. I don't know how. You guys won't be able to catch him, but I can, maybe. Well, that's unfortunate. You wouldn't think they would have survived that, but okay. Okay, that's a kill. Man, it's actually damaging the vehicle. I mean, it probably should. We're running them over with a car, or in this case, a truck. And where did the first one's body go? Where did that first body go? Because it should be marked as an X on the map. Okay, there's one right here, but of course it went underwater, so it's going to be harder to get, which is fine. I don't care. Collect meat from... Wait, what? Now... Wait, what? Did I do something wrong? Because I guess maybe that one drowned? I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. And where'd the other one even go? Because I know I killed two. You guys saw that I killed two, so I don't know where the other one decided... I don't know what's going on anymore. This seems to be quite glitchy. This seems to be extremely glitchy. There's one. Uh, are you actually going to count this time, or is he just going to die from drowning? Which I'm assuming is what happened. Man, these things are tough. Is that one dead? I can't even... You can't even tell if they're dead or not because they just run away so quickly. Okay, where did this one go? Probably across the river where I can't get him now. Just, just fantastic. Okay, I guess that I'm not going to get anything here at the moment because somehow directly running stuff over apparently isn't enough half the time. Come on, game. This is stupid. I've hit these deer like 20 times a piece. Why don't you actually let me get the kill already? I got other stuff I want to work on. Oh, well, there's a grizzly bear. Might as well run him over. And of course, the elk somehow survives that because logic. I mean, seriously, game, what is this? Okay, is it actually dead this time? Of course not. This is a stupid mission because it's impossible. 
these things will not go down. I'm going to need like a tank or something. Okay, is it actually dead this... How is it not dead? What the hell, developers? And now I can't... Now the game's glitched and I can't get back into my truck. Wow. This is a horrible, horrible mission. Okay, are you gonna survive this, most likely? I'm sure it survived that, so I'm sure it doesn't actually make a difference. Wow, it actually died that time. Jeez, it took long enough, game. And of course I need to get four of them. That, that's just amazing to know that I have to get four of these things. I mean, seriously, developers, would it have killed you to make sure that the mission actually and your game mechanic here actually worked? Like, would that have been so difficult to do or at least been more fair? Because I can hit these things like ten times and they just walk it right off. They don't seem to care that much if you hit them. Okay, why is it working now is my question. Like, why did it not... Oh, hello. Uh, we may have a bit of a situation here. We need to down these enemies because that's three heavies. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I killed two of them. That's okay. All right, that worked. Man, what were three heavies doing up here? Like, I know that Jacob's region doesn't have, like, the most stuff in it. It's one of the like, least amount of stuff that you actually have to do for the most part, but I guess maybe it's counterbalanced by having tougher enemies. That would make sense. Because it's ten... Well, I mean, it's not meant to be the last region you go to. I think... I mean, John's region is supposed to be first, and then really you can tackle Faith or Jacob in either order. Or, like, at the same time, even, which I didn't really do. I probably could have, and maybe even should have at times. He's gonna cover my ass while I meander. Well, he's probably just gonna drown instead, oh, yeah, so it's probably not gonna work. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Maybe I should have looked at the depth of the water before I did that. That one was my fault entirely. I'm sure the deer just walked right up and got away, though, like they seem to be doing all video. Ah, let's get rid of him. He's not gonna hurt us anymore. Or not, because Boomer's just gonna get in the way and do this. Yeah, it's like it does not let me do the sidearm takedown, so I must just have to have a pistol to do it. That's actually unusual, because I don't think you ever had to do that in the previous ones. That's kind of cool, though, that they would make that kind of a change. I guess it makes sense, because not everyone's going to be carrying a handgun. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, let's switch the M79 out temporarily for a handgun, and I will attempt to do that on the next group of enemies we come across. Oh, and now we have a truck. Even better. That's great. Now we actually have a truck to use. Perfect. Absolutely perfect for that. Man, there are a lot of cultists around here. I forgot how annoying it was to see them all spawn like this. I feel like it's because in Faith's region, I really used the helicopter a lot and was able to mostly avoid, like, just going along the ground in that one. But now I'm on the ground a lot more, and there seem to be a lot of enemies because of it. Oh, I'm sorry, Boomer. Jeez, that's, that's so annoying. He runs right in front of you. You think he's smarter than that. Come on, Boomer, you gotta be a little smarter than that. Okay, let's see if we can get this one. He'll probably just survive like 20 hits like all the other ones do. Yep, he's just gonna get right back up and walk it off. I don't think this is how it works in real life. Now, thankfully, I've never hit a deer in real life, so I wouldn't know. And Dang it, Boomer. Dang it, Boomer. I'm sorry, Boomer, but you shouldn't have gotten in my way.
There we go. That was very annoying. I have no idea how long this video can end up being because I'm just going to be cutting out a lot of this because I'm having so much trouble with this objective. It's way harder than it should be. Well, I completed a challenge on that one. It didn't give me what I needed, but I at least completed a challenge, so I guess that was kind of worth it. This mission is stupid. This mission sucks. Will this truck work? Probably not. Okay, I think that one might have actually died from that. He should, I hit him enough times. Okay, that incredibly stupid mission is done. I will see you guys next time.